All right, so let's talk about direct buys now first. You know, what's really cool about direct buys is this is awesome for beginners. You know, if you're just getting started, you know, just getting your feet wet with this kind of, you know, with this traffic generation method, it's gonna be awesome for you. Um, what you're doing essentially is you're buying ad space directly from the site owner. So you are eliminating middlemen, all right? And let me tell you something about those middlemen. <laughs> you know, um, a lot of times uh, you're gonna save um, anywhere from you know 20, sometimes up to 50 percent, believe it or not, on your um, you know on your cost uh, if you eliminate the uh, the middleman for these direct buys. Um, something else that's really cool about it is you know it's much cheaper. Obviously, kind of goes hand in hand with the uh, you know point number two there. Uh, it's much cheaper price for banner inventory. Uh, you're able to build relationship uh, with the site owner directly. Uh, something I like to do personally, you know, anytime I can strike a relationship with the site owner, um, you know, I have more flexibility. I can come back to them. You know, I can get better deals and things like that. I can get exclusive deals. You know, sometimes I can um, I can come back to them and say, hey, you know, um, do you mind uh, uh, you know running my banner as a pop up? You know, when somebody, uh, um, you know, gets on your site, instead of my banner being placed stationary in your site, you know, can we do this as a pop-up to where it actually pops uh, on your website and it's more visible, you know, it gets more engagement. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of times um, these, um, these site owners will have um, a list, right? So, you know, if they have an opt-in box on their website to where if, they, if they're collecting emails, a lot of times I can come back to them and, you know, because I, I, you know, I have that relationship going on with them. Let's say I've been advertising with them for, you know, a month or two, right? I can come back and say, hey, do you, uh, do you mind, you know, selling me a solo ad, you know, to where I can actually submit an email solo ad to your email uh, list, right? Uh, and a lot of times, um, you know, when that's available, I get some awesome, awesome results from them. Um, and this is awesome. I mean, this is a great way for test your, you know, for testing your new offers. Um, again, if, if you know your offer is fairly new, if you don't know if it's going to convert well or not, don't go to you know to the network buy before you test it out uh, with some of the direct buys and uh, you know at the most uh, intermediate networks, which we're going to talk about uh, in the next video. Now, there is also something that's not so cool um, that I don't really. You know, I think it's a, it's a, uh, some cons when it comes to direct buys as well, and I'm just going to share with you that as well, so that you know you're aware. Um, a lot of these um, direct buys, especially if the site gets a lot of traffic, um, you know, if it's a bigger uh, if it's a bigger publisher, um, sometimes they will work with a, what's called an agency, right? Which is uh, now we're going to be tapping into the uh, intermediate um, intermediate buys categories there. So you know, don't be surprised if you run, you know, if you contact a buyer or a, or a publisher uh, for to do an ad buy, and they you know and they refuse to work with you because they already working with an agency. Uh, that can happen too. Now it can be a little bit time consuming. Um, you know, if you want to place ads, you know, let's say on you know, 50 or 100 different sites uh, doing direct buys all the time. So if you just want to cut out the middleman, uh, well, it's going to take a little bit of time for you to obviously find these direct buy or, you know, these direct publishers and go to them and, you know, strike deal with them and, uh, you know, and get your stuff placed on their sites. Um, so therefore, you will need to do a little bit more of a manual research. Again, if you don't, you know, if you want to save the time, if you want to, or if you want to save the money and you have more time than money, then this might be a great way for you to, uh, you know, to uh, to go about it. All right. Now, with direct buys, um, it, it, you know, what you're gonna have is is you'll have a limited reach. Uh, what I mean by that is, you know, you can you can only find so many uh, yourself. I mean, there is so many. There is there is literally hundreds of thousands of websites you know on uh, on the internet and um, you know unless you go to like a network or, or an intermediate uh, agencies right uh, you will have limited reach because there is only so many you can find you know by yourself and there's so many sites that's out there that's available to us that you know we don't even know uh, and uh, won't be able to find by ourselves unless we go to like a network or an intermediate you know agency so these are some um, you know some cons now let me kind of show you a diagram again I touched upon this in the very first video uh, in this um, you know in, in, in traffic getting um, mastery 
uh, part of the course. But again, I just want to stress and, and emphasize, you know, the importance of having the right setup, my friend. Okay, very, very, very important. Check this out. So let this represent you. <laughs> all right. Well, maybe me. All right. Let's let's talk about me. Okay. So let's let this represent me. All right. Um, and again, you can apply this to 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 yourself. Just kind of model this this example here. Okay. So I've got. You know, um, uh, you know, an offer that I'm promoting, right? So I will set up three different versions of landing pages for the offer that I'm promoting, right? You should be familiar with this. Why three? Well, it can be two, it can be four, it can be five, right? I just, you know, for simplicity uh, purposes, I just want to keep it at, at three. So I want to promote, let's say, you know, heck, you know, I'm talking about internet traffic formula here. So let's just keep it to that. Let's say I'm promoting internet traffic formula. Here is my banner. Right, and I want to place that banner on this website, okay, entrepreneur.com, okay, which is going to be targeted for what I have. Uh, you know, they get uh, visitors who are entrepreneurs, and obviously, entrepreneurs need to learn how to get traffic to their sites, get more exposure. So, obviously, you know, internet traffic formula is going to be uh, targeted for that particular crowd. Now, what's my setup here, okay? Well, most people, you know, what they're doing is they're just taking, you know, website uh, URL. Or landing page URL, and they will just link it directly to their banner, okay? And then they'll place that banner onto the uh, onto the publisher site, you know. And that's a big mistake, you know. First of all, they're not split testing, you know, in in real time. Uh, second of all, is you know they, they don't know which one is going to convert, which ones, you know, which which site gets them the most conversions, you know, uh, how many hits they got, all that good stuff, right? I want to be able to track all that. Listen, I want to be able to track how many um, how many visitors I'm getting, okay? I want to track how many of those visitors are opting in, okay, to which landing page, and obviously, ultimately, I want to check, you know, where the sales are coming from, okay, which sites, because if, hey, if entrepreneur.com is going to get me good sales, or, you know, good traffic, and, you know, I'm getting good responses from them, I can come back to them, and I can advertise over and over and over again, right? Now, something else I'm going to do is I will try to strike an exclusivity deal with them, all right, meaning I can say, hey, I can I can come back and I can lock my spot over the next six months with you, okay? As long as you're getting new fresh visitors to your site, um, and um, you know don't don't sell this ad space to anybody else. I will take this exclusively for the next six months, okay? And so that means I'm ba basically virtually guaranteed an ad spot, you know, for the next six months, and that's residual traffic. It's traffic I don't have to worry about. You know, it's always going to be there. Uh, so pretty cool, right? So here's my setup, okay? Every single landing page is going to have a tracking URL, okay? And I showed you how to do that in Capture Mastery, okay? You can go back and watch it if you haven't. I believe it's the last video in Capture Mastery, okay? Um, I personally use ClickMeter, okay? But you can you can use any you know any um, any tracking uh, services or tracking you know softwares or scripts out there. Um, doesn't matter as long as you're tracking your clicks, okay? Now what I will have. Uh, then do is I'm gonna have my tracking links, okay, pointing to a rotator link, okay. So I have one rotator link that has three different tracking URLs, and each tracking URL obviously goes is attached to you know one particular landing page URL. Make sense? All right. So then I just take my my rotator link, which is one single link, okay, and then I take my banner and I say, hey, I go to Entrepreneur and I say, hey, here is my banner. And here is my link, okay, where I want people to go to when they click on the banner. And guess what? When they click on the banner, they go to my rotator link, all right? And then that rotator link is going to rotate between those three landing pages, but it's going to rotate through a tracking link so that I can track that click, right, and see how many clicks I'm getting, you know, how many uh, conversions I'm getting, all the good stuff. Make sense? All right, so... Uh, that's uh, that's that. Now let me talk to you about how to find publishers directly. Okay, how do you find publishers? Yeah, it's actually very very easy, my friend. All right, very easy. So many people try to overcomplicate a very simple thing, you know. Uh, and uh, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. You, you, again, you can apply this to anything out there. I don't want to show you anything in like specifically and say, okay, so here's what you need to promote. Here's what you know how to do it. I will show you a model. Okay, I'll show you a framework. Uh, and then what you do is you take this framework, you take this model, you apply it to whatever you're doing out there on the internet, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Google and just simply search for your for your topic keyword. Okay, if you're promoting, 
you know, stuff about parrots, you're going to search about parrots, right? If you're promoting, you know, plasma TVs, you're going to search about plasma TVs. You're going to just enter plasma TVs, right, in your uh, Google keyword, right? If you're into sports, you know, whatever your, your topic keyword is, you're going to search for that in Google, okay? Then what I will do is I'll take a look at the sites that come up or in organic search results, okay, not the paid ads. Uh, and actually, I might, I might jump online right now with you and actually show you what it looks like. And then I want to research sites that are in, in the top 10 in Google, okay? And um, I'm going to pop over to Alexa and see how much traffic those sites are getting, okay? Uh, why is that important? Well, it's important because I want to advertise. I want to place my ads on sites that get a lot of traffic, a lot of fresh, tra uh, fresh traffic. Make sense? Then I'm going to contact, I mean, if, if, if this passes with the test, you know, if my research um, comes up positive and, and I like what I see, then what I'll do is I'll contact the site owner, okay, and I'm going to inquire about buying banner space from them, okay, as simple as that, and that's pretty much the process. And then lastly is, at you know, if any time possible, I will, I will negotiate, okay, we'll try to negotiate the best deal, uh, and generally what I do uh, when I negotiate is I just say, look, you know, I would, um, you know, I'd like to run a test. I'd like to do a test run with you. Um, if the test, if you know, my first test goes well, I'll come back and I'll give you a lot of money. Okay, we'll do a lot of business together. Uh, you know, give me your best price possible for the test. You know, and uh, and try to strike a deal with them. You know, for the best price possible. Now, I wanna I wanna <laughs> warn you because when I say negotiate, you know, some sometimes people just take it the wrong way and they they just, you know, they think that, um, you know, they're entitled to. Uh, you know, to 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 you know, to to kind of you know to, to to get the 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 best deals that, or you know, let's say if publisher tells you it's going to be a hundred bucks, and you know, and and people think, well, I need to negotiate, so you know, they'll just be stubborn and say, you know, I'm not going to pay you more than fifty bucks, you know, for this for this deal. You got to remember, you're coming to them, right? They didn't come to you, so you, there is a fine line, my friend, you know, between being cool and pissing them off. Make sense? Just keep that in mind. You know, when you negotiate, be cool about it. You know, if they don't want to negotiate with you, if they say, "Okay, it's going to be a hundred bucks, or it's going to be fifty dollars per month, or it's going to be three hundred dollars per month," you know, and and you say, "Hey, do you, you know, is there a way we can do a test run, you know, maybe a little bit cheaper, and if it works out well, I'll just come back and 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 you know, and do a lot of business with you." Uh, if they are not willing to 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 negotiate on, you know, uh, with something like that, you know what? Don't sweat it. You know, don't stress. Uh, if you want to run with them, run with them. But you want to end, you know, your your negotiations on a on a on a good positive note. You know what I mean? So that both parties are happy. Make sense? All right. So let me uh, let me show you right now how to let's see if we can jump online here. Okay. So how do we find publishers? Right. Like I said, you go to Google, step number one, let's do this together, okay? I just wanna show you, my friend. I, I don't want to leave any stone unturned, you know, so let's do this together right now. Okay, let's say that, um, oh shoot, let's pick a keyword. You know, what, what do you wanna talk about? Um, I play piano, you know, I don't know if you actually knew that or not, but I, I'm actually pretty good at piano, uh, playing keyboard, all right? So let's say I'm gonna search for how to play piano, right, boom. Something, you know, very, very generic. Again, you're going to see this This stuff you can apply to anything. Now, this column right here, see this says ads, right? Ads. Now, don't worry about this column. This is anybody can get here if they pay Google enough money. <laughs> you know, you don't want to look at this, right? What you want to look at is, and don't even look at this one, right? Anywhere it says ads right here, okay? I don't want to pay attention to that. Starts with here, okay? This is organic search. Now, when somebody searches how to play piano, okay, they will see these results, okay. Now, this is a YouTube video, uh, WikiHow. Okay, let's let's take a look at this this next one here, okay. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for sites that have banners on them. Bottom line, okay. Now, look at this. Does this look like a banner to you? Okay, that looks like a banner to me. Okay, look at this. Does this look like a banner to you? Yep. Okay. So what I can do is uh, is I can you know next step is is I'll, I'll grab this URL right here right I'll grab this URL I'm gonna pop over to Alexa all right check it out pop over to alexa.com and Alexa is a site that measures that that you know indexes all the websites in the world and it tells me how many visitors uh, or how much traffic a particular site is getting 
okay, by ranking them in the order of, you know, uh, lowest to highest, okay? So if, the, if Google is like number one, right, look at this. This particular site, okay, is ranking 891 worldwide. That means that they have boatloads of traffic coming in all the time, okay? 524 US, okay? This is a high trafficked website. Now, do you think it would be a good idea for me to advertise? Let's say if I, if I was promoting a course or something that had to do with, you know, teaching people how to play piano, right? Do you think that it might be a good idea for me, right, to, uh, to place my ad over here, okay? Absolutely, right? Absolutely. That'd be, I'd be crazy not to, right? Let's take a look at another one, key, another keyword here. Let's say if you're building a home-based business, right, and you are targeting folks who are, you know, let's say they want to work from home, right? Work from home. Again, very, very generic, right? Work from home. Now, again, don't pay attention here, okay? Don't pay attention on the ads here, okay? What I want to do is basically is, you know, just take a look at what's available out there, right? You know, what, what what's available out there? Um, let's click on this site right here. Now, this is Forbes. Now, check this out. Forbes.com. See this advertisement right here? You can actually, when somebody goes to Forbes, you can actually place your banner in here. Okay? See this place right here? Okay? How awesome would that be for you to place your banner here, right? Of course. No brainer. So, let's just go ahead and continue to the site. Um, but now, Forbes is, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good targeted site for, you know, obviously people who are business minded and, you know, people who want to learn, um, you know, how to, uh, you know, work from home and, and, and entrepreneurship and all the good stuff, right? So look at that. That's a banner, right? So they have banners. So that means that I can contact this, you know, that's a banner right here. See that? Okay. So that means that I can place my banners here and I can, you know, I can contact these site owners directly and uh, see if I can strike a deal with them. Make sense? Now, let me show you something really, really, really awesome. Okay. Let's pop over to Google. And again, you can apply this to any keyword you want, my friend. Right? I just don't want to take a whole lot of time. Again, I just want to give you a framework of, you know, of, of how to do this. Okay. Um, there is a thing called Google Keyword Planner. Okay. Google Keyword Planner. Okay. Let's let's search for that. You know, just like this. Google Keyword Planner. Okay. And the very first search result that comes up here, I'm going to click on it. Okay. Now you're going to have to sign into Google AdWords account. Let me do that right now. It's free, you know, you can actually create yourself a free account uh, to Google AdWords and just sign in there. And then what I'll do is I'll go here, okay, check this out. And um, I will click on search for new keyword and ad group ideas, okay? Now this is how you can actually dig deeper into your, uh, into your research, okay, for finding uh, direct publishers and direct uh, media buys, okay? So here, where it says, you know, enter your keyword, right? I'm going to, well, let's say, you know, let's go back to our first keyword, right? How to play piano, okay? Enter our keyword here, and look at that. You can actually target it, right? Uh, who do you want to, what countries do you want to target? You know, New Zealand, Australia, United Kingdom, Canada, United States, right? So top five countries, right? I'm going to click on get ideas, okay? Now look at that, okay? We can take a look at uh, ad groups, or we can take a look at the keyword ideas or keywords individually, okay? So let's take a look at this one right here, okay? Keywords, first group, and we can actually categorize them by the uh, number of searches per month on average, okay? So the keyword piano, see what it does is it, it's taking your keyword, your main keyword that, you're, that you entered, and it's going to spin it around, right? And it's going to search in Google to see uh, what other relevant keywords that people are searching for, right? When they search for, for that particular keyword that you entered. Make sense? All right, so now it gives me different ideas here, right? So p the keyword piano, you know, 201,000 searches per month, okay? Now that might not be very targeted for, you know, depending on what, on what you're doing uh, with, you know, with, uh, you know, what you're selling when it comes to piano, right? Uh, piano keyboard, learn to play guitar, piano online, all right, how to play the piano, again, 9,900 people per month searching on it, right? So what I can do is I can take these keywords right here, right? And I can just copy it, and I can go back to Google, right? Look at that. I can go back to Google, and I can just paste it in Google, and all of a sudden, now it's giving me new sites that I can check out, right? 
new sites that I can check out. And if those sites have banners on them, guess what I'm going to do? I will contact the banner, the uh, the site owner, and we'll see if I can, you know, place my ad there. Okay. Um, learn to play piano, right? Uh, play piano online, right? You get the point, right? So and you can do this for pretty much any any uh, any keyword out there. Okay. Flowers. You know, if you're into flowers, right? If you're, you know, if, if you have uh, some kind of flower business, you know, flower delivery, or you know, if you want to get more. Uh, if you're selling flowers or you're arranging flowers or you're doing some kind of service with flowers, right? Flower delivery, right? Uh, you can you can do this as GEO targeting, uh, targeted, right? And there's a lot of people, you know, artificial flowers, 27,000, right? Flower delivery, you know, flying flowers, flower. I mean, you get the point, my friend. There's there's a whole lot of stuff that you can find here, right? And a whole lot of new, new sites that you can go after um, when it comes to direct buy. So pretty much... That's um, that's how you do direct buy. You know, just go to Google, just do a, a manual research. And what I do is, um, you know, just start like a like a spreadsheet. If you're gonna do this manually, um, start a spreadsheet and uh, keep track of you know what sites you're advertising on, um, and then um, you know so that you can come back and you can you know document your results and see which ones are performing, which ones are not performing, so that you can optimize it. Now, listen, this might take you you know this might take you a couple weeks, you know maybe a month. To really, you know, to really start optimizing and really get to the point to where you see it clearly, you know, which sites perform well, which sites are not performing well, um, and that's fine. You know, if you're on the budget, if you have more time than money, then I say this is a perfect way for you to get started. Okay, because you can literally. What's cool about this is you place your banner, right? You 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 take a look at your your performance of the banner, and. Um, you know, if you know, if if you have a banner that's performing well, you can run it over and over and over again, and that's residual traffic. Most of the time, you just pay once per month, and just let your banner run there and stay there for the entire month. Okay, somebody else already built a website. Somebody else takes care of the website. Somebody else, you know, get, got it up to the uh, you know first you know page of Google, and so basically what you're doing is you're bas you know you're just leveraging somebody else's work that they have done already. To get your message in front of their audience, make sense? So that's how you do direct buys, my friend. So in the next video, uh, what we're going to tackle is uh, I'm going to show you some uh, intermediate buys uh, methods and how to set that up and how to go about doing intermediate buys. See you there.